Hi friends, I am Asmita. Welcome to my channel. Football journalist Nikki Bandini has come out as a trans woman in August 2019 in a video posted on Twitter and in a separate piece written for The Guardian. Bandini's story could help provide the public with greater knowledge of gender dysphoria as issues of gender identity become more prevalent in the sports world. I'm transgender, wrote Bandini, who was formerly known as Paolo. <laughs> but anyway, uh, enough chit chat. I definitely feel like a Formula One driver. Sorry, I'm just going to carry on the chit chat now. Yeah, um, go on then. I feel like a Formula One driver in my head because I don't, I don't follow Formula One. I don't really know much about Formula One. But like, we're a professional footballer. I'm like, no, I expect you to like probably have like good sleeping patterns because like you're work, you're training all day. And I totally get that Formula While her coming out has been celebrated both on social media and even on the newspaper's heavily moderated comments page, the timing is pretty awful. Just a day before, a report surfaced that two transgender employees of The Guardian resigned, according to BuzzFeed News, citing transphobia in the workplace. In her written article, Nikki said, I am transgender. I know that sentence will come as a shock to many. Even after struggling with gender dysphoria, a sense of discomfort with and dissociation from the body that life dealt me and the expectations that go with it. For almost my whole life, it took me the best part of three and a half decades to be able to say it out loud. Referencing her dead name, she added, There it is, though, in black and white. I wrote my last article under the name Paolo Bandini. Yeah, I mean, From yeah, now on, so it will be Nikki, addressing the possible happen, confusion. But... She said, it's okay to find this confusing. It's okay if it takes time for people who know me or have followed my work to remember the new name or that I use for myself the pronouns she and her. It would be hypocritical of me to expect other people to instantly digest information that took me countless hours of therapy and lived experience. She continued, writing, transition is a journey and a slow one at that. I came out to the most important people in my life three years ago, not on purpose, but with tears and panic attacks. A part of me hoped that talking about dysphoria might finally chase it away. Another part expected the world to stop. Nikki also wrote about her desire to see more LGBTQ people in both sports and broadcasting. Finishing her piece, she wrote, Times have changed, technology has changed and I have changed. But storytelling remains my great passion. I look forward to continuing to share them with you as Nikki. Thanks guys for watching this video.